Hello everyone, I am Seema, a Senior Staff Product Manager at Teradata and today I am excited to introduce Teradata's new SQL Editor, Vantage Editor Desktop to you. Vantage Editor Desktop is a new lightweight SQL Editor from Teradata that can be used for everyday business tasks and ad hoc data discovery. Vantage Editor Desktop is also helpful for customers who are migrating to the cloud from on-prem environments, as well as customers who prefer having a SQL ID for their tasks. Using Vantage Editor Desktop, user can easily connect to both on-prem and cloud environments of Teradata. Currently, it is supported for both Windows and Mac devices. The Vantage Editor Desktop works on Windows 10 onwards, Windows Server 2016 onwards, Mac OS 12 onwards, and officially supports Teradata database version 17.20 onwards. You can download and install Vantage Editor Desktop in just a few seconds, and there is no additional software needed for this setup. Now, I would love to demonstrate to you the main features of Vantage Editor Desktop, including connections, script tabs, and query results. This is Vantage Editor Desktop. Let's start with the connections. I opened it by clicking the bottom left side. You can see all the previously saved connections in the list. Here you can see the option for edit connections. If you click this, it will open a new dialog. User can click new connections to create or add a new connection or you can modify the existing connection as well. Currently, two mode of login mechanisms are supported, TD2 and LDAP. You can save the password if you want, but if you would prefer not to do so, you for security reasons, you have to simply uncheck the box. There are options to modify a few property of Node.js drivers, such as COP, COP last, log, and T mode. If you do not change values, then default values will be used. Once you have entered all the details, then you can test the connection settings and save them before closing to ensure that this connection is working. You can also have the option to duplicate or delete existing connections. You can also use the predefined connection file to load connection information for Vantage Editor Desktop. This is the template file. A template file named connections template YAML is included at installation time. You can use the predefined connection file to load connection information for Vantage Editor Desktop. This is useful if you want to transfer connections from one system to another. You have to simply provide values for all these parameters. Up here is the object browser, which loads all database objects related to the connection which you have selected below, such as databases and tables. You have search functionality that can help you to search databases or tables and then mark them as favorite to use later. Once you mark that particular object as star, then it will come at the top of object browser. User can also use insights to see the details of the table, such as SQL query, which was used to create the table, different column types, and the number of rows present in the table. This is the script tab. You can write, edit, and execute queries using the script tab. You can also rename the tab. You can run multiple queries simultaneously using multiple script tabs. You can also select connection here, which you want to use. This connection is saved separately from the one which is selected for object browser connection. This is only used for running queries. And if you want to save the queries from a script tab, you can do so. This helps to share scripts across devices through this file. You can also reload the saved script. You can also pass the parameters within a SQL query like this. Below script tab, 
you have query results. It shows result sets of all the queries that you have just executed. There are multiple options available here. For each result set, you can download visible results up to 5000 rows in JSON or CSP format or copy visible results to clipboard. And if you have more than 5000 rows, like in this case where you have almost 900k rows, then you can directly download all the results in CSV file format. So you can see the result here. You also have the option to apply different types of sorts and filters on rows. You can add multiple columns for sorting. Similarly, you can apply filter condition depending on different column types. Below query results, you have query history. This contains all the queries which are executed in the tool. You can copy the previously run query and paste it in the script tab. You can also get the additional details like status, compute group, user, elapsed time, fetch time, and the number of rows affected. You can search on any of the columns to locate previously run queries. This is especially helpful if you have a large number of queries. Let's say here, I want to know the queries which have failed. So I can search like this. You can also import the history in JSON format from another instance of the Vantage Editor desktop and export similarly in the JSON format. This is helpful for users who want to share their queries across the systems. You can also delete query from the query history. At the top, you have settings. You can apply different options while exporting the results set to CSV, such as trim trailing spaces, or putting different delimiters of your choice for fields and records. Like for field, you can select comma, tab, or pipe, or for record, you can select end of line, carriage return, or line feed. Below that, you have option for object browser display. You can either load all the database objects in object browser or only those for which you have the authorization. This helps you when you have a long list of database objects and you just want to focus on a few. Below that, there are some options for running queries and displaying the result sets. By default, 2000 number of rows are shown for the result set. You can change it between 1000 to 5000 rows. You also have option for the result set tab. Like if you want to maintain every result of the run, then that you can maintain. Or if you just want to maintain the last run for that tab, that you can do by making your selection here. If you are running multiple queries in a script tab, you can configure if you want the editor to stop on the first failure every time or prompt every time if any error happens or simply continue running the next set of queries. You can make your selection here in run error response. Next to settings you have in product help. This will guide you through different features and workflows of Vantage Editor desktop. And that's it for today's demo. Thank you very much for watching. Please visit the video description to view the download link and other helpful information. Until next time.